everybody, welcome to your history lesson. Now, obviously, I'm not wearing your usual teacher's uh, uniform. Uniform, yes, I'm wearing armour. So we're going to take you back to the time of about the year 1520 or so. That's the time of Henry VIII. Who knows anything about Henry VIII? Yeah. So yeah. 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 Didn't he have six? Yeah, well done. Done. I learned it in school. It's a divorce, beheaded, died, divorce. No, survive, yeah. well done. Forget yeah. the idea of Henry as all the pictures we, we see of him being a big fat bloke. When Henry first came to the throne, he was very young. He was uh, in his yeah. uh, late teens. He was very wealthy, so he can do whatever he likes. He's fit. He's handsome. So if you can imagine today's top politicians with today's top church people, with today's top uh, music stars, with today's top uh, sporting personalities, roll them into one and make them extremely wealthy and put them in charge of England, that's the king at the time, that's Henry VIII. But the thing is, when you're young and rich, you don't want to be bothered with all the details of running the country and signing things and passing laws. You let other guys do that. So he had all these guys that did all the work for him and he just had fun. So uh, anybody name me a couple of things that Henry might have done for fun? Justin, having sex. How did you guess that one? <laughs> yeah, jousting, which brings me to the uh, armour. His armour, which still sits in the Tower of London, you can still go and see it, fitted him exactly. I will now introduce you to Tom and Adam, who are going to step forward and put the last couple of bits of my armour on. What's the most expensive car you can think of? Bugatti. Bugatti. Yeah, the Veyron. Yeah, the Bugatti yeah. Veyron is more than any Ferrari, man. Well, this is a Bugatti Veyron. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What that's a waste a, that's of, a kind of money. That's the kind of price that we're talking about here. Yeah, kind of, uh, yeah, this is the kind of uh, technology that you're talking about here. A jazz is a sport. I mean, if you think of like Formula One, something like that. So I mean, it's really, really fast. It's really, really expensive. But it's, it's got a lot of rules, isn't it? A lot of rules to it. So it's the same thing. So with this, the target is that shield there. If we can hit that in the joust, that's going to get you the maximum number of points. I have my, my lance in my hand like this. And when we're jousting, we stand with our lances up, waiting for our opponent. When I see my opponent is ready, either one of us will put our arm up like that to signal that we're ready. We will then start down what we call the tilt rail, which is an enormous fence, like an armco on the motorway. So we basically can run down it, get as close as we can to our opponent. And as we're getting close, we get our lance underneath our arm, so you're going to have to do this, and we drop the lance down towards our target. So, if you put your hand up, bring it back in, and then catch it under your armpit. So in it goes. Yeah. When your opponent and you are coming towards each other, you bring the lance on target, so you hit me in the middle there. Squires, go and get Champion the Wonder Horse. If you can look at these posts we have here, there are rings on them. And then at the far end, there is something we call a quintain, which is a target that spins round when you hit it. Two points if you carry the ring on your lance. One point if you only knock it off. And push. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. You've been an excellent class. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank you very much. All right, very well done.